Wait, this is actually gold. Real gold, yes. 100% edible. Yo. What's going on everybody? Welcome to a very special New York episode of Fun Bros Food. There have been so many second generation Asian businesses that have opened up in the past year. Everything from dessert spots to traditional hot foods and the best way to cover these all in one video was David to go on a massive, massive food call and hit them all up. Today we're gonna to be talking to these brand new business owners about their product as well as their process. You ready? Let's, Let's go. go. Our first spot today is in Chinatown on Broadway and it's called The Little Ones. This spot specializes in Japanese shaved ice, AKA Kakagori. They also specialize in a lot of other Japanese dessert items that are mostly only popular in Japan, but slowly making their way into the US market. Let's check it out. Okay, so we are here with Eddie, the owner of The Little Ones. Eddie, please explain to us what your whole concept was behind The Little Ones. Well, right here we have the kakigori, which is matcha syrup with orange pastry cream on top, which we brulee with some mochi on the side. Ooh. And then this is our manaka ice cream sandwich with chrysanthemum ice cream inside. We have pineapple sorbet with caramelized pineapples on top and a little bit of toasted coconut. Yo, I thought this was a, a pancake on top. This kakigori right here, what, what, what say it. It's just, say it. It's on another ah. level. Ah. Sandwich. It looks super light. Wow, do you hear that crisp? Mmm. That's that's just some good pineapple. Oh my right? goodness! Good luck in the future. Thank as you. you. Thank you for coming, man. No doubt. All right, we're here at Stacks Ice Cream, and they are serving up delicious homemade ice cream donut sandwiches. Let's go talk to the owners. Okay, so we got these freshly pressed donut ice cream sandwiches. All right, so I've got the weekend. You have bourbon ice cream and you have chocolate drizzle with a honey graham cracker crust. So this is the Berry Bliss sandwich. This is strawberry ice cream topped with vanilla wafers, fruity pebbles, nice glaze on it. Mm. I can taste the bourbon. I'm drunk. Okay, we are here with the owners of Stacks. We got Vita and Sophie. Thank you so much for having us in today. <laughs> this is not the first ice cream donut sandwich I ever had in my yeah. entire life. It was definitely actually the best one I've ever had. I could I'm hug you. <laughs> what does it mean to be 100% female ownership and things like that? I think business, you know, there's room for both genders and I think it's empowering. I would really like to see more female-owned shops too. So you're fighting stereotypes at the same time serving delicious ice cream. I appreciate <laughs> that. Making me feel like a superhero. Yeah. <laughs> you got like um, a tagline or something? Sweet vibes only. Sweet vibes only. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, so for our third spot, we are here at 88 Kim Pop with Tony. How you doing? What's up, Tony? See you guys. Tell us a little bit about 88 Kim Pop. Oh, we specialize in mini Kim Pops, which is a different variation of the regular Kim Pops. Kim Pop is the Korean variation of, you know, what is commonly referred to as sushi. There's nothing raw. Well, for our store, we have 12 variations for customers to choose from. So these two are really popular with our customers right now. This is known as Cheyu, which is the spicy pork. And this is the very famous bulgogi. Um, bulgogi is the beef steak. And then it's two distinctively different flavors. This is a spicy and this is a little more sweet. We've only been eating dessert so far, so pretty excited. Mm, very good. It seems like Korean culture and food is being, you know, accepted really well, you know, amongst the Chinese community. Go. Hey, you can't go wrong with rice rolls, man. I'm with you. All right, so our next spot is Ali Mama. This spot is specializing in something that I've never had. You never had it? I have never had this before. They specialize here in mochi donuts. Enough talking, man, let's go. Okay, we are here with Jessica from Ali Mama. Hi, well mochi originally is from Japan. Everyone loves mochi, so we incorporate it into the donut itself. And we use rice flour instead of regular flour, so it has the extra chewiness. And over here we have the sweet and savory salted caramel Nutella and over here we have the matcha. So on top we have the cream which is incorporated with a little bit of matcha powder and toasted rice crispies. 
Mmm. Wow. So this is our most popular puff. It's the ube puff. And ube is a purple sweet potato and it's really popular in the Philippines. It's a cool contrast between the mochi donut and the cream puff. The cream puff's more airy, very light and creamy. And then the donut was a lot more dense and chewy and stretchy. Yes. This is a yuzu peanut butter. Yeah. Wow. Well, so you said this is floral and this is beetroot? Yes. So this is, tastes like flowers? Yes. And this is, oh, is it going to taste like beet? Yes. Wow. Yes. This is refreshing, bro. Cheers. Alibaba, not Alibaba. All right, so our next spot is matcha and more. They specialize in matcha and so much more. Is it safe to say that matcha is a wave? It's safe to say that. Let's check it out. Be wavy. Okay, so it's 100% pure gold, but it's impermeable. So if you actually take it into air and you rub it, it will dissolve at all. So it doesn't have a specific taste. Wait, this is actually gold. Real gold, yes. But I can eat it. Yes, 100% edible. What am I trying here? This looks crazy. So yes, this is the rainbow latte. This is the healthiest drink on our menu with ginger turmeric, beet, your choice of milk, and matcha on top. This was anti-inflammatory. It has antioxidants, help boost your immune system, okay. and it helps you, relax. You selling it? You selling yeah. it? Yeah. Thank you. Shout out to Matcha and More. They got a lot more than just matcha. All right, so our next spot is a very fashion forward boba spot. It's called Ba Party. You know what? We got to get some, you know, nice cold boba. Let's go. We're here at Bar Party with Patrick, the owner. Hi, how are you? Hi, guys. Sounds like party. Oh, okay. Ba Party. Yeah, ba party. So it's, a, so it's a Ba Party. Yeah, uh, this is called Afoga Tea. So basically, it's uh, vanilla ice cream in the bottom, and then we have the uh, different type of tea. But this one's black tea. Right, yeah, you, you can you can drink it. So it's mixed with the uh, blend with ice cream. Eventually, once everything melts, it will become like a, a little kind of like the latte. And this one is a matcha green tea latte. And on the top, we we put a big scoop of the oh. matcha ice cream. That was cool. The matcha was actually uh, above the surface of the drink. Yes, the darker color is a black tea flavor. It's a twist. So the other one is the iron garnet. Like a oolong yeah, tea. Like tea. Oolong. Ba party. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on to our next very visually appealing boba shop. We are in front of CT. These are an area that are very fashionable, very uh, aesthetically focused. Let's go check it out. All right, so right here we have four very pretty tea drinks. This is called the Mermaid Vanilla Milkshake. All right, so this is mango green tea with the milk foam on top. I got green tea passion fruit here, but with the watermelon spear. Woo! All right, this is rose milk tea with milk foam and little rose petals on top. Yeah, I taste the rose. Mmm. Wow. This is how we drink this tea. Open this lid, then you can sip the foam, which is the milk. Then you use the straw, you can taste the pure tea. You blend them together, that will be the third flavor of the milk tea. You're kicking in stages. This is extra advanced. You took a lot of influence from both Asia as well as LA. That's right. All right, our next spot is a family-owned chain that's from Bangkok and now they're opening up their first New York location. And guess what? They are actually specializing in custom French toasts. Ooh, let's check out K's. So this is called The Hangover. Obviously this is a breakfast. It's got bacon, eggs, cheese in it. So this has banana, bacon bits, and almond cream. Yo, legit, that's pretty good. Definitely, you cannot underrate the value of having the sweet bread. All right, we are here with the owner, Kravicha. What do you want people to taste that makes Hayes Boutique French Toast different from any other one? I mean, it's very addictive. Like, it's crispy outside and like very tender inside and like a lot of flavors go into that.
All right, so now we are in front of Mo Matcha, and I know that we have been eating a lot of matcha on this call because matcha is a thing. Uh, Mo Matcha is interesting because it is art and matcha infused. Check it out. This is a matcha cookie shot. This is the first time we've had a matcha shot with the matcha cookie cup. Oh, and we got Max here. Max, Max please, come, come, come. Yeah, we're gonna have a little fun with you guys. All this right. is our Enlightenment Matcha, which is the best matcha you'll find in New York City. Mm -hmm. Yo, shout out to the Cookie Matcha Cup, though, man. Mm -hmm. mm. This cookie is good. This matcha tonic right here, it's a rose petal tonic, and we do a shot of little matcha on top. This right here is our signature CBD matcha latte. This drink blew my mind. All right, we have made it all the way up to the East Village now, and we are in front of Mochi, which specializes in handmade mochi. Uh, shout out to Mimi. I was also so interested in my conversation with her for quitting her job, mm. taking a huge risk, trying to open up a dessert shop in Manhattan because she just loved making mochi. It really inspired this entire food crawl. Mimi, why don't you explain what flavors these are? Yeah, so this is the Daifuku, this is the Vanilla Bean Nutella, Chocolate Oreo, and the Strawberry Fruit Loop. <laughs> wow. This one is going to be the actual strawberry with uh, oh, this is the strawberry and one. the strawberry filling inside. Okay, cool. And it's still the same process. This is a mochi cake. I've never seen a mochi cake before. So it's just mochi on the outside? Yes, and then okay. inside is... Touch it? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Yo, this is a gigantic mochi cake here yeah. on mochi. Yeah. So this is something that you made especially for this video? Yeah. Wow. You are actually one of the main reasons why I decided to make this video. My parents are pretty skeptical. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when I cut a mochi and they tell me, wow, this is amazing, and the smile that I see on their face is just the reason why I'm doing it, and it's my huge passion for that. Shoot. We're gonna keep this going. <laughs> All right, man, we have made it out of the desserts. Now we are into the hot foods. David, we're in front of a very special spot. They, they serve clay pot rice, AKA bozai fan, here at Clay Pot. So let's go check it out. Well, full disclosure, Andrew, we have been here before. I've been here before, for sure. Of course, of course I was here. We were here when it opened. Right. <laughs> wow, that's just a great mixture of sausage, eel, so you kind of have that kind of seafood fishy taste. One of my favorite garnishes in the Chinese cuisine is this thing right here called gong chong. It's green onion and ginger. Here you have a garlic scallion shrimp right here with the shell on it. All right, right now we are here with Alex, the owner of Clay Pot. The reason why we opened, there's two reasons. First. Chinatown is kind of getting gentrified and I felt like it was you know our generation's responsibility to kind of like bring it back mm -hmm. Number two, it was actually like the only thing we ate when we lived in Chinatown Had no money Right, right, because uh, bow tie fan is relatively, I mean it is an affordable dish Exactly, yeah all right, we are coming to the end of our crazy massive food crawl around New York. We are at Hot Box in the East Village. And an interesting thing about this is, first of all, this place hasn't even opened yet. Tomorrow is their grand opening. Wow. So by the time this video comes out, Hot Box is gonna be open. Yo, what a funny name, Hot Box, even though it's Hot Pots, but I'm sure it's because it sits on top of a box where the fire is. Ooh. Let's check it out. All right, man, we have a hot pot in front of us. And, and like we said, this is an individual hot pot style, but right now we're gonna be sharing it. What are we looking at, man? You're looking at the house special over here, man. You got pork belly sliced on the side right here. You got sliced Angus beef over here. Finished off with some handmade dumplings. These are actually individually wrapped. Fish balls on the side, bok choy, some tofu skins for a final crunch. And then we got finished with an egg on top. Uh... You know what I, I really like about this spot, man? It tastes really healthy. Yeah. And I mean that in like the best way possible. Like it tastes clean. Last last year, this time, I was working corporate 
four, four walls and a cube. And then now this place, it's amazing how much like a couple months can change things. You went from the cubicle, that box, now you're opening hot box. <laughs> oh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Alright everybody, thank you so much for watching that video. And until next time, we're in New York City. We yeah. out. Peace. Bob party. Like a Bob RT. Like a bobble tea. Like a Bob RT. You want a bobble tea? I get a Bob party. <laughs> Yo, it's getting hot, man. It is warm. It's man, warm. I'm true.